I'm Dr. Jenny, and today we're going to the track to meet one of Hannah's steam heroes, Aurora Strauss. Are you ready to hear how you can rebuild the world with race car driving? All right, Aurora, take it from here. Thank you, Dr. Jenny. Hi, everyone. My name is Aurora Strauss. I'm a professional race car driver. I'm so excited to be one of Hannah's STEAM heroes and show you how my job as a race car driver is a STEAM career. When I first started driving, I was 13, and my first professional race, I was 16. A lot of people think that race car driving is all about who can go the fastest into a corner and who has the most guts. And sometimes that's true, but a lot of the time it actually isn't, and it's more about problem solving for the unique situation that you're in at that time. For example, when you're heading into a corner, there's actually a maximum amount of speed that your car can carry into that corner. And there's also a maximum amount of speed that the car next to you can carry into that corner. So one of my jobs as a race car driver is to figure out what that scientific limit is for my car, knowing what the scientific limit is for the other car and figuring out if it's a safe move for me to try to pass that car. In a lot of sports, you're competing with maybe one second or two seconds of a difference between yourself and your competitors. But in motorsports, it's tenths of a second or sometimes hundredths or even a thousandths of a second. What fuels me is competing for those little fractions that make the difference between winning and not. A lot of work goes into making yourself the best race car driver you can possibly be. One of the coolest pieces of technology in motorsports is actually my clothing. Race cars often reach anywhere from 100 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit inside the car. So one of the things that I try to do is work out in an environment that is as similar as possible to the race car. So I try to work out in really high heat with the end goal of making sure that when I get to the racetrack, I'm as prepared as possible. It's important to know everything possible about your race car. Race cars are very, very complicated. They're like giant computers. And part of being a driver is knowing what all of the individual buttons do in the car. So before I get to the racetrack, I have homework. I have to go through the manual. I can adjust a ton of different things in the car with the push of a single button, but first you have to know what they do. So as you can see, the steering wheel in these cars are highly complex. There are a lot of things on this that are just like a normal road car, except it's a spaceship steering wheel version. My steam superpower is collaboration. There is so much more to motorsports than just driving. We have a whole team, we call them the crew, and almost every crew member has one specific focus during the race weekend. For example, we have a lot of different tire specialists. One of the most important things about a race car is tires. Generally, the softer the tire, the more grip and friction it will have. The ones that you can stick your fingernail into a little bit more are the really, really fast ones. Unfortunately, the softer a tire is, the faster it's going to run out of what we call grip. And all of those crew that are responsible for setting up those tires are also responsible for getting fuel and tires on and off the car in anywhere from 25 to 48 seconds. Collaboration, communication, and critical thinking are all really, really important components of motorsports. You can't make a race car faster if the race car driver doesn't know how to communicate the problems with the car effectively and if the engineer doesn't know how to interpret what they are saying and come up with a good solution. One of the reasons STEAM education is important to me is because understanding how stuff like fractions or friction applies in something like a race car, that's really cool. And a lot of the stuff that I learned how to do in elementary school and middle and high school applies directly to my job now. I love the phrase, small steps lead to big change, because one of the largest changes in my mental attitude as a race car driver actually came from something very small. I had a young girl come up to me and say she didn't know young girls were allowed to race. And if you are ever considering a career in motorsports, it's okay if you decide you aren't interested in it, but I don't want you to ever think for a moment that racing is not a career opportunity available to you. Having a STEAM career means you're a problem solver. And as a race car driver, one challenge I face on the track is how my team and I can make adjustments to the car to make it as quick as possible. 
During and after each race, we download and analyze a lot of data. Data doesn't just help me improve as a driver. It also tells us what we can do to make the car perform better. We look at things like brake performance, speed through corners, and horsepower. I need the right tool for the job, and I need your help. Can you help build a solution? Great! It's time to design a next level race car. Think about various things that go into a design, such as speed, safety, aerodynamics, ability to handle turns at high speeds, and more. You might also think about the friction from tires or air resistance, or my personal favorite, how to design for sustainability. Race cars go through but one set of tires every 45 minutes, but does your next level race car even need tires? Motorsports is all about innovation, so I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks for watching. As you can see, I absolutely love my job as a race car driver. I can't wait for you to discover or create what you love to do. Let's rebuild the world one small change at a time. Bye everyone.